European region qualifiers. We got Alliance versus Mad Lads here. Alliance is sitting on the uphill for now. So uh -oh. You know something could be up. Oh, right into them. Hello. Seconds What's up, Naga? Is he dead? Yeah, he's gonna go with the chaos. Well, Naga's here one in trouble though. How comes he killed those? Splits up and this is bait all along. And now Taiga, he's left in no man's land. <laughs> all he can do is spam sorry from a distance. They're going in. There's the Riptide. He's going to split up heal. Nope. Not just yet, at least. Cinderin. There's the split up, but he can't get a heal off. Trying to wrap around Insania. But Cinderin's one has to be careful. He doesn't have that shallow grave. Only level two. There's that Thunder God's Wrath that we're talking about. Completes the kill. Now, maybe next time, he's manning up with the Illusions Quick Foot as well. But the Chaos Ball connects onto him. Reality Rift is ready. Throwing out that Plasma Field to take out Tusk. But Quick Foot hanging around a little bit too long. Reality Rift from Lona. No, it's on cooldown now for 10 more seconds. He has a stun. He does not have the mana. He has a wand use. Pop the self, so he's fine. Trying to pursue Loda. That poison touch. It's gonna keep on ticking. He's like, fine, I'll take a bounty rune at least. A pipe versus a zoo. This early would be me. Cinderin. He does have shallow creep now. He also has a heal wave in five more seconds. No shallow creep just yet. Epicenter on top of CK. Loda was not expecting that response from Keizu, but here comes Mickey and Pangolier being played by Boxy. She'll smash on top of Keizu. Keizu's in trouble. If he dies. That's going to be a lot of lost gold right there. They lose Dazzle. He wants Keizu, though. Rolling, there's that ensnare that you were talking about, though. Stopping him in place. So Keizu continuing to be on the run. Pops a Sandstorm. He's fine. The Lightning Bolt completely whipping right there. Madara looking to turn. Open wounds. The Ice Shard. Taiga's like, well, I regret this decision immediately. He goes down. She'll smash on top of several heroes. They finish off the Sand King, actually. And they take out maybe next time with the Thunder God's Wrath. But the Infest Bomb from Madara. They were chasing for the kill earlier. And it's like, of course they're going to be in our... Well, they eventually get Insania. They do kill him, but at what cost now for Madara? Pops a race, sitting on top of Taiga. Open wounds on him as well. One more auto attack will do it. So he gets a double kill out of it. Throw them off, stop any blinks perhaps. But in the back lines, they're going in. I mean, that's not the quickest rush on kill. Boxy is all of a sudden in the midst of the fight. Can he get off the rolling thunder? He's going to be snowballed away. So now he can if he needs to. Maybe next time gets caught. And Madlads all of a sudden has to retreat now. They're down a man. Taiga, that was asleep. amazing. He the, the snowball saved the Pangolier. But again, kill Life Stealer, and they feel like they have an opening, but Keizu is going for the big place. He goes a little bit too early. Maybe he can kill Siki in the process. Left on up, though, and down goes Keizu. Oh. Loda's very low on life. The Lincoln Sphere are not going to be enough to save him, however. And Sand King will pipe back. This fight is just a back and forth. Started by Mad Lads. They're going to end up completing a Taiga. Right. Bottom lane, though. They kill Roshan. They're looking to make a play here. The tower does go down. Make it. He's like, I right, come at me, bro. Well, wish is granted. He got away. That was very well played right there. Rubik actually, Burl Strike stolen. He's just sending away from Adara. Finally gets taken out after the run. But now the finish from Mickey takes out Dazzle. And the Yul throws out Madara in the air. Keeping him guessing what to do. Chaos Knight, meanwhile, Taiga runs right into Madara. So Chaos Knight will pull in Nagasar instead of explode him. But now Loda, he's in a bad spot. Mickey doing what he's can. Spamming that magic damage, going after Razor. The Riyadh even pulling, and Razor will go down. Loda dies as well. But Madara's also going to fall. The Yadis will be popped. Where is Keizu? He's off to the left. He has an epicenter ready to go. He's going to try to make a play. He stuns it on the Zeus. They want to kill him. They pop the shrine as well. The Link is not going to save Zeus. Can he blink away one second? No, he cannot. The auto attack connects. Ultra kill for Madara. He wants a rampage. He's going to jump inside Keizu to try to get that rampage. The stun, it hits, and now he's in trouble. Aeon just popped. The question is, can he finish the rampage here or not? Rubik is back up, and I think Pingo's fine. AC is being worked on by him. That was the Thunder God's Wrath, by the way. They catch Keizu. Another Yule's rolling thunder will go right through. Comes back. Now he gets a stun off, but they're not going to sleep as well. The swashbuckle's not enough damage to complete the job. And now Koikva, they're setting up. Chaos out of the back lines, however. Splits up with the Phantasm. Sitting on top of Madara. Madara trying to find the right target. He reality rips to the downground. Cinderin manages to force half over the ledge, though. Naga. Oh, boy. Okay. The sleep. This is a big chance for Joe. They want to go for Zeus, right? Yeah, they the can blink it out. Right comes now. down from the skies. They're going for Zeus. Will it be enough off-road damage? He manages to get away. Initially with a snowball. There's a Yul's going to blink away out of it. Yes, he can. He blinks away, actually. They kill Dazzle. They're going to take out Keizu. The Aeon just procs out a Taiga in the meantime. And now it's a Lion's turn to change this fight. However, Loda does get picked off. But Madara, he's trapped in all the illusions as well as the I tried. He's trying to run. Oh my he God. can't go anywhere, though. And Sania is going to die to Razor. But Boxy in pursuit now. Maybe not too much. These illusions are still doing plenty of damage. <laughs> from Loda after death. Right here, they're running down at Nagasara, but Mickey is actually low himself. First damage on a Koikva. He's going to be sapped some damage. He doesn't care too much of obviously himself. Koikva will be picked off by Pingolier. They do run down Zeus. He has a buyback. Will he look to use it? Boxy, there's that Aeon disc. Not going to be first off initially. 
is going to be rooted, though. Here comes no Zeus turning now. No mana, like you said. Life Stealer, he cannot rage. He's just trying to run this whole time. Man, is he fast with those face boots. So he's going to survive. Naga Siren will go down. Got there, just caught by the Burl Strike, and the rest is history. Naga Siren is going to sleep here. Find Zeus. We saw what happened last time, though. There Two, is no Pango. Does he bite right back? Keep an eye on that. Meteor Hammer comes down and gets the heals off, actually. Over here, Chaos Knights. Damage is being sapped away. The Lotus Orb put on Zeus. Zeus is going to be fine for now. Another heal's in the air. Koikpa is hitting really hard in Sania. Feels the tail end of that. He'll go down. Pangolier does bite back. Zeus is still alive. The no fire on him. It's not going to be enough, though. He's still alive. No, Koikpa cuts him off. Down goes Zeus. 120 seconds. He has no buyback. Boxy, the Rolling Thunder through. But he's going to have to jet on out of there. It's right there. More buybacks happening on either side, even. That would be a dieback, remember, on Loda if it gets picked up. Okay, Zeus just got enough gold, actually, to buy back. So he's back into the final all of a sudden. Lifestealer, that's going to catch him off guard completely. Madara, the Aegis is going to be popped. Can he blink? <laughs> no, he can't. Did he catch him, though? The shards? Oh, the beautiful blink. shards. Can he maybe infest? There's a blink ready. No, and in comes Kaze. So we got to try something. The lightning bolt in the face. There's another Naga sleep, though. The BKB from Chaos Knight prevents him from getting hit by it, of course. But Darrow still has where to go. He's being blocked, it looks like. He doesn't know what to do. Maybe next time, try to get the hell on out of here with the. Uh, is that. No, he gets picked off, actually. They dove really hard on the life sealer and gave away this all. This about Pangoli here. Okay, well, <laughs> kill Naga Saren. Foxy gonna keep them chasing. Just see the heavy burst. Kazu already below half life. Glimmer keep keeping alive for now. Taiga cannot connect in the back lines. They pick off Rubik. Back up here, Kazu keeping his distance with that Shadow Blade. He's looking to stun back in. No, he gets silenced up. He gets pursed down. That's a gem drop as well, which Alliance will actually pick up. It is just a heavyweight battle right here between Alliance and Mad Lads. <laughs> These guys don't want to win the game. They just want to fight. That's all they want to do. He's gonna stun and be so annoying. He might catch people off guard. There's a lot of things that he can do for a fight. Oh my god. Yeah, I was gonna say, the Shella Crave needs to be used right there. And that is gonna keep him alive, even a Naga sleep defensively. They, just Zeus and Pangolier alone just did that. Two life stealer, however, will have by them out another Yule's Mick. He's just so good at doing that, staying alive. However, the forest staff isn't enough. The lift, Rubik doing everything he can. It's not enough. The two minute cooldown for Zeus. This time we know for sure he's not coming back up. So Mad Lads gets the last laugh right there. Sania. Having to fall back, Pingolier jumping in the midst of them with a shield smash. They lose Rubik. Boxy can only fight for so long. That's a swashbuckle away. Life stealer low, Loda. Can he get in there? He will pull in maybe next time. The swashbuckle connects. 2300 gold going to Pingolier. But he dies in response right away, actually. Am I reading that right? 2357 gold. Oh my god. <laughs> for that kill. Now Matt Land's making the way top. I'm gonna test this. I'm kind of I'm confused. Like, um, if Mickey really can't blink because of radiance with the Naga Siren sleep, because I feel like I've seen it a million times where people just blink straight out of Naga Siren trying to meteor hit. Because it, he uses himself. Yeah, yeah, you're alive for a little bit, but you'll die straight after. But if he blinks out, then that's a totally different story. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Zeus, okay. Oh, black. Oh, Whoa, it's he actually fast. blinks in time. Oh, Mickey just continues to make the big plays. However, it might be all for now. BKB is here we go. It's a clash of all sorts. Rolling Thunder on through. Quake fight against his own BKB in the midst. He's sapping a lot of damage right now. Looks like he's taken away from Zeus. So not the biggest deal. There's a second sleep coming out. Sand King does get very low in the midst of this. Was that a Rubik sleep? Oh, that was a Rubik yeah. sleep. I was wondering. <laughs> they burst down Sand King. So the steal of the sleep from Ruby coming into play right there. Chaos ain't no fire. Nope. Once again, Taiga gonna save the day. Pangolier picks off Jazz on the back lines. Madara with that BKB. Gonna be wearing out soon. Can he finish off Loda? Yes, he can. Pangolier swashbuckle through once again. Maybe next time running away from Boxy. Can't do that. These stairs not gonna work. Uh, and actually, Life Shield's in trouble. Are you kidding me? Life Shield's gonna go down. They have to buy back. Look at the base of the dire side, creep. though. They have to defend right there. But Alliance wins that fight. 82%. Yeah, that's why. Lord Gaben knows. But there must be some next level genius. Must be. Well, hopefully he doesn't die right here for his sake. He will not die. Now they're trying to turn, but Madara pops a rage, and all of a sudden Tusk is going to melt away. He has a buyback, though. Reality Red Pull, and Madara has to respect that. There comes the sleep from maybe next time. Remember, it has the Axe effect as well. Healing on up. Chaos Knight, the BKB wears off, and that might even save him in a sense. Because he obviously gets Look slapped. Now Adara takes a lot of burst damage. Buyback from Tusk, the sharp block. The Shallow Grave saving for the time being. They're in pursuit, though. There's the vehicle from Keys to the Uber on out. He gets put a double force tapped. 
They need to send that courier, you know, the play where they run it all the way around to the enemy secret shop. Oh, on him? Aeon Disc? Oh, that's a Lotus Orb, actually. Try to get rid of the Aeon Disc. Tusk is going to be sheeved up. Meanwhile, he could be bought by Boxy. Koik was getting very low with that burst of Zeus, but Boxy, he's almost dead. Rolling Thunder, very defensive right there. And Cena manages to get away right here. Keizu tried to burrow strike in. <laughs> now he's in a bad spot, actually. Somehow nobody dead throughout all this. The Lotus Orb. Applied to Loda. He goes back with the reality rift. Out comes a sleeper knock start with the BKB of Loda. Is eventually gonna wear off. Oh, <laughs> Snowball connects. Is that a range about that heal, man? He's back to full life on Nagasar. And again, you have to pay attention to the ancient as well. Zeus and Pangar are oh, doing yeah. a good job of that. Off to the side. They caught Keizu. They saw him sneaking around and Keizu's dead for two minutes. Are slotting like way beyond what was possible in the So it kinda it kind of is already ridiculous as it Oh, Loda. You have to pop BKB. Lotus Orb forced to have everything to get away, so manifest bomb. Fails Razor again. He's trying to sneak in, but Razor gets caught. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a, they were trying to do not it. Not the plan, guys. Look, the, the sleep plan. went off. They kind of let me uh, take a breath, you know, regroup and be like, you know what? Let's, let's do this. You know, think about it. Right, anyways, here we go. And Samia, oh, no. he's bursted down. Lotus Orb, he managed oh, to Pearl God. Strike away and survive, actually. What? And Tango's going in. That rolling thunder, but oh my god, he's taking a lot of damage himself. Boxy, having to get back. Yeah, I don't know how Insania lived. Can Tusk live? Probably not. He cannot snowball in time. The split with the Phantasm Army. Oh no. He's for Loda, but the sleep comes out. And Loda has to walk away. Get that asleep range. Cinderin, he's, he's in no man's land. He was checking things out. <laughs> and um, the Aeon Disc will, will like, dis dissuade that. It's, it's, there's no reason to keep the Arcane Boots at the... Oh, 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 get that away. Anyways, jump in once again. The burst. Cinderin's dead for two minutes. No buyback. Rolling Thunder, Madara with that rage, though. He doesn't care. He just beats down Tusk. Boxy going back and forth. Swashbuckle away. Pops his own BKB. Hoping to run. Stunned in with the Burl Strike. Stolen from Insania. They did kill Tusk. He's dead for two minutes. No buyback from him either. Razor goes down. Nagasar finally going to sleep in the distance right here, but not the most ideal. Is that he can empower his illusion? Oh. He can give him by Daedalus. Izu missed right there. That could backfire. Out comes a sleep. Here we go. It hits basically everyone loaded with the BKB. Running oh, away. How are they gonna react? This could be it. The ancient is taking some damage. Lotus in trouble. Oh. That's gonna be tied back, remember? The hex is up. He's gonna go down. It looks like no, he's speeding alive with the Lotus Orb. Finally goes down right there. They run him down and Santa Glimmer Cape. He goes down too. He does have a buyback though. The ancient's still plenty of life, actually. Boxy and Mickey doing enough response. Madara, he's like, I want to end this game now. That ain't gonna work though. Rage is stolen from Insania right there. Boxy. Thinking about going in, there's another sleep. Do they go for the ancient? No, they can't really. This is the from Insania. The sleep and the sleepers. Oh boy. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, it's just crazy at this point. All right, anyways, uh, Taiga falling back. He has the Lincolns on him. There's a hex up on him. AK Alliances keep him so passive as they need to be. Boxy's in no man's land. Madar is just beating on the Ancient with that rage. He says he can't stop me. They have to pop fortification. They do. Koifa, one mono attack from death. The shout of grave will keep him alive, though. Insania, he forced ass away. They're calling for the Ancient. The sleep what? comes out from Insania. <laughs> he stole once again. Oh, it's a little celebrating here. What is going on? Okay, that should do it, though. Gee, yeah. mad lads. I'm definitely mad after that one. I gotta say, it didn't have to be that hard. I think um, Mad Lads could have itemized better, but Willow and be up. Oh, let the Willow zone the Bat Rider a little bit. Just for an oof on the Willow, you would think that a Boots on Sand King would much more effect when you transition the. Oh, we got a first blood clash coming out right here. Who's gonna get a first? Maybe next time! He cannot get away. Loda gets the auto attack off, finishes the job. Trying to take out Sinner in as well. Gemini to attack. Oh, it's not gonna be enough damage. He is going in pretty oh, deep. There's that rage you were talking about to get around that Bramble Maze, and he's dead. He also Ooh, has a shrine as well. Going in on middle. Now, the support is coming, but they're, they're pretty late here. The Primer War locking him down. The cast does come out with the Maddox hitting on all three heroes. Oh, and no. And top of the fire flight, the Wrath of Nature. Mickey's going to most likely die to this. Boxy toy he says he has to fight. Throws out the rolling axes. Boxy's definitely dead 100%. Loda's in trouble, too. He was not hit by the Malik. Oh. No! Oh, sick! The last tick. <laughs> He's literally going to swing the punch. Okay, something's up. I got they're going to run on him. He has terrorized, but no, he gets silenced first. Be nighttime, a long duration. There's no way he's getting out of this. They also locked on the Beastmaster with a Blasso, and Boxy's dead as well. That was great coordination. Kind of help the troll out a bit. Uh-oh. Oh, well, unfortunately, that farm's going to mean nothing right now. As he gets yeah, he bought out off. before he died. Did bought he? Out. Okay. 
Dania, he's turning in for this. He's going pretty deep. Has an epicenter. It's going to be silenced, but he got the epicenter off. So they will be able to get the kill on Nightstalker. It's going to come at a cost for his own life, though. But that's a big bounty kill for Tink. Mickey, though, does continue to be very farmed. He's level 16, and he has a full Yasha. BKB is now in the works. They find Batrider. This is a key kill right here. TPs are coming in. Keizu, Yoles will keep him alive for the time being. Out comes the epicenter, though. Keizu probably going to tick down to that, if anything. Oh my god, he's still alive! Are you kidding me? He gets away from the Helmet Smasher. He stays alive throughout all of it. The Death War coming out to finish off Insania. <laughs> oh, he actually lived. Oh, I thought for sure at least he's dead. And I'm sure Lions did too. And now Mickey's being run down. Open wounds, six more seconds. Madara's going deep for this. Terrorize, constantly canceled. Going down here, Alliance. All they can do is watch right now. Mickey thinking about going in. There's the Terrorize. Remember, they still have an Aegis on the troll. Jada Realm in as well. Madara sitting on top of Mickey. They pick up Ninja's Prophet. Madara, the rage is wearing off. Keeping his distance. Mickey's still in pursuit. Maledict is ticking him down. Boxy, though, now here as well. Does not have that ultimate, though, just yet. Troll is still barely alive. But they're just being kited so heavily with these sticking napalms that he was trying to maybe go for Weaver. Weaver is actually he's going to be taking the Orchid. He's locked down with a Sprout. He's in trouble. Is the burn going to be enough? It is with the auto attack. Gets the kill. Epicenter comes up from Sania. Go for the turn kill. But no, the TP away from Nature's Prophet. He'll be fine. Maybe next time. I don't think he's getting out of this, but overall, huge couple of kills. Center, yeah. There's a lot of items he could have. Okay, Zoo. Those on the yields, but our jumps out since we gotta fight this boxy again being locked down to get the Bramber Roar up, but it doesn't matter. Death Ward helping to finish the job. Terrorize though. On top of that Bramber Maze. Case is getting low. He goes down. Madara goes down as well. And actually, Alliance fighting strong here right now. Cinderin still holding his ground. Does have Night Stalker and Nature's Prophet nearby. The cask. He's gonna push them back. Here you go. They wanna fight, as you say, Keizu. He's going in, gonna lasso up on the troll. Troll's in trouble. He's getting very low right now. He's gonna end up dying. He has a buyback. Will it be worth it? He does actually buy back. Weaver's locked down during all this in the back line. Cinnamon trying to finish him with a death ward. Actually, he has a time lapse back into the fight, though. He's in a pretty bad spot because of that life stealer. However, the Bramble Maze causing Maledicted. issue. And Loda going the other direction. Not gonna be enough. As you mentioned, he was maledicted, so finishes the job. Mickey with the buyback. Can't really do much. And he's having a run now. No BKB ready to go. Sand King silences up. Boyd being a distraction, if anything. Pops a shrine. Did they catch Mickey as well? Looks like they did. They found him in the back line. Koikva cuts him off. Finishes the job. That's a dieback control. They had to roar the life slurs, so he's not doing damage. But the positioning is just uh, so poor from Alliance. Darkness. Mad Lads, I don't care if they don't have a support. They're still going to go in. Sand King lassoed up once again. And Sania completely out of the fight. How much he can do about it, Loda. Kind of keep it on the outskirts. Nice centaur stomp, and actually Madara being kind of pretty heavily, even the terrorize on top of that. Nullfire coming out on Troll Warlord. They finish off Madara, but now Troll, he's blocked in with the trees. He can't do a damn thing. That's a dieback. 80 seconds. No more coming up for him. Boxy gets picked off. Loda's going to go the other direction. Pop the Lincolns. Don't have a lasso anymore. Sticky knee pumps going up there. There's a sign. They're going to kill him. And I really wouldn't be surprised to see a lion still on the towel here. Used their knowledge of lanes to get a significant advantage in the game. I, I, you know, I, I read on Twitter that Loda had like a very hard week. You have to consider that um, personal issues do play a factor into player performance and team performance.